Translating to Manslayer, Hitsukiri are the executioners of For Honor, and they take their job very seriously using a moveset involving mostly heavies and unique feats that reward and make it easier to get executions. The recent rework gave Hitsukiri more ways to get to their orange moves, and combined with hyper armor and a faintable bash mix-up, makes them a force to be reckoned with in duels and fours. Hitsukiri is a heavy because of their heavy use of heavy attacks. You can enter their Mugen Ryu chain by hitting or whiffing a light, heavy, dash heavy, dodge heavy, sprinting heavy or zone attack, and you can keep going as long as you're throwing hyper armor chain heavies or bashes that also guarantee heavies. Hitsukiri's bash mix-up can only be accessed mid-chain, but both a kick and a charge sweep with hyper armor guarantee a heavy and put your opponent right back in the hot seat. You can also feint your bash to counter your opponent's counter. As whipping a bash means you're getting guard broken, your aim is to be inscrutable. You can end your chain if you stop attacking, throw a hyper armor light, or charge an unblockable heavy with hyper armor. You can vary the timing of Hito's heavies and bashes, as well as their feints to throw off opponents. However, like the other chargeable bash mix-ups, your sweep can be interrupted if your opponent tries to stuff it with a light attack. Your regular chain heavies will obviously beat this, but the hyper armor on the charged heavy kicks in early enough to net you 34 damage if you have the health to trade. You can also use it to trade with some dodge attacks. Hito's dash forward heavy works as a decent roll catcher if people are rolling the kick sweep mix-up. In group situations, you can target swap as you're charging a bash, heavy, during a dodge attack, and even the dash forward heavy. Unfortunately, Hito's charged heavies aren't reliable for hitting external opponents. Hitsukiri's zone is treated like a heavy and comes out of your left side, but it doesn't execute. Guard breaks and wall spots both guarantee a heavy in any direction, so only wall spot if you really want the extra stamina damage. Heavy parries give you a light or a zone attack, and light parries give you a heavy, all which let you start your chain. When your opponent is out of stamina or you're in revenge, parries and forward throws both net you light into heavy for 34 damage or zone into heavy for 36 damage and half your green bar, and both of these options let you continue your chain. Side throws net you a regular or charged heavy for 24 or 34 damage respectively. If you want a little bit more damage, without of stamina parries you can light and charge the heavy for 46 damage, but it ends your chain. Hitsukiri's fashion is very hit or miss to many people. You've either got 80s glam rock hair, a burlap sack over your face, or funny masks. The chest and arm pieces are nice and don't need to rely on an abundance of spikes to look cool. However, depending on your armor, you may not really notice any material color changes. Like all year 3 heroes and beyond, ornaments go on the shoulder pads. Hitsukiri has all the defense perks, meaning you can get Aegis, Shields Up, Bastion, Vengeful Barrier, Last Stand, Fresh Focus, or Bulk Up as perks. Vengeful Barrier and Bastion make holding a point in Dominion much easier, and depending on what feats you run, you may not even use Fresh Focus. In 4v4's, Hitsukiri's feats are as follows. In Tier 1 we have Deliverance, Fast Recovery, and Iron Lungs. Deliverance gives Hito a shield and hyper armor when executing, meaning they're the only ones who can safely execute in the minion lane. However, during this you're still vulnerable to bashes, guard breaks, and feats. Fast Recovery lets you regenerate stamina much faster, and Iron Lungs lets you sprint when out of stamina. In Tier 2 we have Tainted Gift, Bloodlust, and Righteous Deflection. Tainted Gift sends a creepy whispering head after an opponent that reveals their location to all your other allies. If they're executed, the Executor and nearby allies restore extra health. Bloodlust gives you a temporary attack and defense boost when you kill an enemy. Finally, Righteous Deflection gives high damage reduction after parrying. Tier 3 has Spirit Shroud, Heal on Block, and Nuka Kubi. Spirit Shroud gives Hitokiri damage resistance after executing an enemy, and lasts until they are killed. Heal on Block does exactly what it says, and Nuka Kubi regains stamina on successful hits, including minion hits. In Tier 4, we have the Asthmatic Backflip, Regenerate, and Fear Itself. Senbon is a 200 damage top heavy with hyper armor. It can be dodged or parried, but is guaranteed on out of stamina parries or throws, or revenge parries and throws. If you're knocked out of it mid animation by a bash or an enemy feat, you can use Senbon again without waiting for it to recharge. Fun fact, you can also do it as part of your chain, but it isn't guaranteed even on out of stamina sweeps. Regenerate lets you slowly regain HP when out of combat, and Fear Itself weakens nearby enemy defenses. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with Hitsukiri's unique feats. However, I like to run Fast Recovery and Nuka Kubi in Tier 1 and 3, as Faster Stamina Recovery means more stamina for lots of heavies, and Nuka Kubi lets me help in the minion lane but also keeps my green bar full. There's no denying Hitokiri is a strong hero. Variable timed heavies and bashes and hard hitting attacks make for a hero that excels in duels, probably brawls, and can hold their own in fours with a decent lineup of feats. If you're looking for a heavy hitter that loves to play mind games, give Hitokiri a shot. If you want more specifics on Hito like damage values, attack timings, and more, the For Honor Information Hub has you covered, and I got a link to that spreadsheet below. As I referenced in this video, I previously covered some details on Hito's unique feats in another video. I got a link to that below so you can check that out if you'd like. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank my Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible, especially Sweckles, Kyle, and Shadow. Most of this was streamed live on Twitch, so follow me there, and of course subscribe here for more. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next stream and video.